G'day guys, welcome to a Kmart haul. I spent $118.75, I could have spent more. It was Tuesday morning and there was a lot of unpackers there. So it was a bit difficult moving around, especially in the home decor section. I was looking at fake plants. I've got a corner that I wanted to put a plant in, but I didn't end up finding what I wanted. And I'm wondering if I just go for a real plant. So I'm gonna go check out Bunnings soon and just see what they've got. But anyway, Kmart. So when I go into my store, I tend to go in the kitchen section first. And I went in and they had these one liter tall bamboo containers. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I've done my pantry with these bamboo containers. They seal really well. I check out all the seals when I'm in the store and just make sure with these that they don't have any chips or lines in them and these were all good. And I got another one of those because I'm just getting more ingredients now that I'm doing lunch boxes twice a week. I got some shredded coconut for an Anzac slice, which is really good guys, I'll link that below. Um, but yeah, so I just need to get some more containers and I also got a really big one, the 3.5 litre. We have one of these already that fits the Cheerios. But I'm actually going to see if I can put the Vitabrits in there, just because it's long and thin. At the moment, we've just got a wide, really cube container, and it takes up a lot of space in our little pantry. So I'm going to see if I could layer them all in here. The other thing while I was in the kitchen section is I actually saw these really cool wire baskets. I thought these would look really good in a pantry, but I didn't end up buying any of these. And then I grabbed some glass containers. This is the 1.4 litre glass container. What I like about it, it says microwave safe, oven safe, dishwasher safe, which is essential. But with these though, the tops, we haven't actually been putting them in the dishwasher. We've got the free ones that you got from Woolies, you know, with your home deliveries and stuff like that. So we don't put the lids in the dishwasher and the seals are working really well. So we'll continue doing that with this. Freezer safe, airtight and watertight. So have you guys got experience with these? Do, are they what they say they are? Are they actually airtight and watertight? So I'm just hoping with our, you know, snack prep and stuff like that for the week that I could chop up, you know, some carrots or some cucumbers, strawberries, actually chop them up and put them in here and seal them. We just don't have enough of these glass containers. I prefer the glass. So I grabbed a 1.1 liter as well. Same kind of thing. I'm just reading the bottom. It says, warning, remove lid before placing in oven. Well, that makes sense. It's plastic. It would melt. Cool. Okay, so I got two of these, the 1.4 and the 1.1. If you guys have these at home, I'd love to know about it. Or what other brand have you used for your glass containers that are airtight and watertight? I'd love to know. I grabbed these tongs. They're $1.50. You know, they last a while. The ones we've got have discolored and they've started pulling out. So I just grabbed another pair. Next, I grabbed two of these file holders. So they're $4.50 and I'm going to use them in the kitchen. So at the moment, I've got a drawer with all my baking trays and muffin tins and, and cooling racks, but it's all laid on top of each other. So it's just not working, but I've got a cupboard that's got the kids stuff in and I'm planning to swap it. And then I'm just going to put all the baking tins and the cooling trays in this file holder. So I think it's just gonna be a better use of space. So I was really hoping to get a few of these magazine holders in white and I looked on the shelf and I couldn't see any. So I got onto my tippy toes and I found one. So this one I'm planning, I was gonna get some for water bottles. We've got a few water bottles and instead of just shoving them in random places, I wanted to put them in here. The kids have got a few. But then it was kinder morning and we had the lunch box, but we didn't have the drink bottle that went with it. It was in one of the cars and it was just a dramatic morning. So I'm gonna have one of these, which just has my daughter's kinder stuff in it. And we just use it for that. So after a kinder day wash, put in here, and then she goes two days a week with a day off in the middle. So I think this is really gonna just help to organize her lunchbox stuff. And I'm just gonna be able to put it on a shelf. So some of our tea towels are starting to look a bit tired. So I grabbed this hand towel. This is one I've already got. I was looking for another pattern, but they didn't actually have a lot of options in the hand towels. And I'm gonna use this as a tea towel. So this is so good for once your dishwasher has finished, if you put it over the top, so it's half in, half out, it absorbs a lot of the moisture, especially on the plastic containers 
Um, and so you leave it there for half an hour and then they come out dry. But I've noticed it has to be really fluffy. You know the tea towels that are quite hard and don't tend to absorb a lot of moisture? They don't work that well. But this hand towel works so well. So I grabbed that. And I got another one as well. And I specifically went for the dark colour. I thought that might last a bit longer. But ours are starting to get tired. So I grabbed some more. And then I grabbed some face washes as well. So there's four different ones here. Looks like a kind of a zebra print. Two blue ones. And then this is meant to be butterflies. Like on the actual picture it says butterflies. But I couldn't really tell. Oh, maybe there. So we'll see. Anyway, we just needed some more face washes for the kids. I was looking for some clothes myself. And at the moment, they're starting to chuck out all the kind of summer stuff. So good time to buy. I grabbed these light blue shorts. And they were on special. They were $4 instead of 7 So great bargain there, I reckon. And some more shorts. I'm all in the short feel at the moment. <laughs> they were $7 down from 12 And... And I was specifically going with just simple shorts. No buttons, no zips. Can't bother with that at the moment. I've had a real bad luck run. I've had a real run of bad shorts with zips that just kind of keep falling down. So. <laughs> and then I grabbed this nice simple top with a bit of a pattern on it just to add a little bit of something to it. That's a size 12. Then it's kind of light purple. I was wondering, I didn't try it on. It looks like it's got a big arm hole. So we'll see how low it goes. But I grabbed that. I thought that'll go great with my nice new blue shorts. Quite the pastel outfit. So some more organization. I'm a big fan of their packing cubes, especially for an extra change of clothes in the car. It's just easy. So I've grabbed this three in each and they were $7.50. Um, pink one, black one. When we go away for a weekend or something like that, I like to create independence with the kids and I like for them to get their own clothes out. But when you've got a suitcase with just all clothes in it, it's really kind of hard to find what they want. So I grabbed these just to help with going away. It just makes it easier having some more packing cubes. So I just grabbed some more of those. I was in the um, checkout section and I saw this wooden recycled truck and I thought as a garbage truck would be cool. We don't actually have a garbage truck my son has heaps of other trucks. He absolutely loves them. So I thought I'd get this for his birthday. He's going to be turning three in a few months. And then I picked up this skipping rope. My daughter is turning five next month. So this is just a gorgeous skipping rope. We've had another one that I had when I was growing up. She was enjoying playing with that. So I thought I'd buy her own. The other thing we've got for her present, just if you're interested, is a butterfly. So it comes in its crystallis and you put it in its little container and after a couple of days it's going to hatch into a butterfly. You have it for a couple of days and then you let it go. So I think that's going to be so great to watch and see. We're a big fan of butterflies in our house. The other thing we're doing is a party. She hasn't had a party for a couple of years and I reckon... The last one was just before COVID really hit and it was with the mum's group. So she's got a lot of friends now. So we're doing a party and I've been getting some um, things for the party bag. So of course there's going to be lollies in there, but I've just grabbed some spinning tops. So I've got two lots of spinning tops because blue, green and pink. Shame it's not red <laughs> anyway. Then I got some cute little notebooks. Um, you got this. My daughter is all about writing at the moment. Um, and then I grabbed some mini unicorn pencils. So I grabbed a few of these. I'm not sure if I'll break them apart. So maybe split them in half. I'm not really sure yet, but I grabbed three and they were only a dollar each. And then I saw these cool highlighters. So love heart highlighters. So I grabbed a couple of those. I grabbed three of those. So that's where it's at. If you have got any party tips, please share. We're having it at a playground. Um, some of them are going to bring their other brothers and sisters as well. So it's getting quite a few. Um, so I'm just going to do some really simple party food and I'm going to purchase a cake. I'm not going to bother making one and it should be fun. But guys, if you've got party tips, please leave them below. Alrighty guys. Thanks heaps for watching. Take care. Bye.